this is just kind of a panoramic shot. Uh, I got a little digital point and shoot and stitches. Uh, stitches them together, so and this is kind of my favorite shot because the bear on the far left and the bear kind of the next one over to the right are actually the same bear. <laughs> And sometimes from the pad, you, uh, you get to see parts of bears you don't normally see. <laughs> and then uh, this is down on, uh, at the lagoon, and you can see the Augustine volcano is kind of letting off some steam this day. And you can see camp off to the uh, right there. And this is a big, uh, big sow that's been around the camp many, many years. Um, another shot of Augustine and a couple of bears playing. And this is a uh, shot from Cam. Uh, tide going out and bear down to the left there is out the fireman. And again, this is a shot from, from uh, Cam. Thanks so much, Tony. And uh, just had one quick thing to show you. Just if, uh, we had a special group come out last year from UAA, and they uh, they are shooting some film and working on a project for their visualization theater here in town. And uh, just to give you an idea, some of the clips that they they had, I just gonna like to show a couple quick clips to show you a little bit of uh, action. Uh, so what? Uh, it's really interesting when you see these guys two-dimensionally, but it's fun to watch it three-dimensionally as well. And you see the energetics put into fishing here, get an idea of what goes into this and the amount of energy being spent by these bears uh, while they're out there trying to catch fish. It looks pretty easy, but when you really watch how much is going into it, just uh, take a look at this clip. for a little glint of something in that white water. Just something to make a plunge at. You can see how fish are hard to detect in that. It's not like clear water. But then again, the fish are a little bit more disoriented sometimes. I believe the fish might even bump into the bears. These are just little one minute clips. Um, let me just show you one other. That's up at McNeil Falls in the peak season there. But uh, let's take a look at these uh, couple big males, and you can kind of see how hierarchy comes into play. I believe the bear on the left is more dominant than the bear on the right. There's a little direct eye contact, and you see the bear on the right back up. And uh, a little bit of huffing and popping there on the bear on the right, and he's going to move right behind that bear, bear on the left, and very carefully, very slowly, uh, no sudden moves. Kind of see this is if you're interested in wildlife behavior, McNeil is extraordinary. Uh, you, if you're paying close attention, there's a lot going on all the time. And uh, you can kind of see this guy goes back to fishing left, right, left, right. And both gulls are in there waiting for anything they can pick up too. It's good to spend time around big omnivores.
There are like just a 30 second clips here if I get another one for you. So Travis Rector at UAA is working on this project and he wants to put together a, a visualization program about all the great places in the state of Alaska, McNeil River being one of them. Here's a female uh, fishing the far side, lower, lower river, and uh, she's going to work her way up and down, like Drew said, up and down, and if she sees just something off to the left, she might make an attempt. You can see some color difference too. She's fairly light in color. And there she goes. Unsuccessful though. Sometimes late season is a little bit easier to fish because the post spawners are a little bit more zombie-like. They're easier to catch. So we were just sitting across the river from this bear on that gravel area and uh, watching bears we give them a good 50 feet, we're back from the river, and give them the main corridor uh, so they kind of move freely back and forth. Just speaking to behavior, uh, just one last clip. I'll show you. We'll bring this to Mike again. But uh, oh, let's see. There's a couple of big males. Sometimes big males have uh, some interesting rituals. And when there's another big male, uh, they get into this what we call cowboy walking, and uh, they like to rub their heads and their bodies on anything around. This is a big male posturing with another big male to the right. And just notice the stiff leggedness in the rear. See that stiff legged? And see he's rubbing his head right now, he's displaying. Now females don't waste their time with this. There's another male cowboy walking on the left. <laughs> so this is the kind of interesting things you can see with McNeil. It really makes it special. If you're interested in wildlife behavior, it's really something. They, and they rake themselves in these big tussocks of grass, and even on the willow trees sometimes. And that's all I have. I'll leave it for Mike.